It was the apology Sony customers have been looking for. Ten days after the PlayStation Network and Curiosity services were taken offline, Sony executives, including the head of its gaming division, apologized on Sunday for the potential loss of personal information on millions of customers. The attack on Sony servers in San Diego saw the probable theft of names, addresses, birth dates and login details for the two services. Sony took them offline on April 20th after the intrusion was detected. Computer security companies have been analyzing the attack and its extent is still not clear. It could affect all 77 million accounts. But 10 million associated credit cards are thought to be safe. Nevertheless, Sony is advising customers to watch out for unusual activity on their credit card accounts, and the FBI has launched a criminal investigation into the attack. Three firewalls were breached to get the information. Sony called the attack highly sophisticated, but the company did make one embarrassing admission. The PlayStation Network and Curiosity service will resume in stages beginning this week, with online gaming and music streaming coming first. Customers will be asked to change their passwords when they log in. Full service is expected to resume by mid-May. By way of compensating customers, Sony will offer selected games for download at no cost, and premium users will get one-month extensions on their accounts. The attack comes as Sony is trying to build up its network-based services. The PlayStation Network has been successful with about 80% of consoles online, and Sony wants to repeat this with consumer electronics. Curiosity, music and video services have been rolling out worldwide, and earlier this week the company was touting them as a key part of its first tablet PCs, which will launch later this year. In Tokyo, this is Martin Williams, IDG News Service.